Hello everybody and welcome to Hell in a Cell. I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is Rick Schiavone. Hello. Hello Jim. Oh, unbelievable show tonight. The most devastating creation in the history of digitalized wrestling. Um, the Hell in a Cell structure. In, uh, we have seen some unbelievable Hell in a Cell matches in the history of wrestling. We saw the debut of the Monster Kane. We've seen Mankind fall through the cage nearly to his death. And tonight we will see many of the JFW superstars hardly use the cage at all. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, first up, we've got the Wemdorp Championship. Oh, oh my God! It's Skuro Mezzo. That's Skuro Mezzo's music. Um, and Frost Lord, of course, famously uh, was destroyed in a Hell in a Cell match, so he might be getting flashbacks from that um, tonight as he defends his Wemdorp Open Championship in Hell in a Cell. And also, if people watching could let us know how the volume levels are between the uh, actual video and glorious. the uh, commentary, no, that I would won't be great. give in <laughs> until I'm victorious, and I will defend. What an entrance from defend. Skuro here. Famously overpowered <laughs> in the history of the JFW. He's got to be one of the favorites here, Jim. Absolutely, yeah. And, and he has been a monster, hasn't he? Especially in these multi-man matches. Um, and in the SFL, of course, he is the winner three and winner five of the SFL. And he has tasted that wemmed up gold before. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, an absolute beast in the ring, a beast in the SFL. Not so hot in the photography, but otherwise, what a challenger. <laughs> yeah, he does dream of being as good a photographer as Dimmy G, of course. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> J5, thank you for staying fantastic for 29 glorious months. Oh yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, he has he has been historically great in these in these multi-man matches. And the and you know, the the Hell in a Cell is as close as you can get to backstage, right? With that exposed steel everywhere. A hellacious structure. Yeah, he is a bit of a hardcore legend, isn't he? Mm -hmm. That adversity isn't gonna affect him at all. Boy, howdy. But how will he do? Whoa. <laughs> it's Calcium Kaz, baby. Coming off a hot, hot win on Monday Night Claw, eh, Jim? Yeah, incredible performance by him then. And uh, that has got him into the Wemdorp Championship match. Uh, looking for vengeance after his <laughs> SFL final loss, wasn't it, against Skuro Metzo? Um Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, outside of his uh, comfort zone here, um, the uh, his opponent's a good decade or two older than uh, what he's used to in his dojo. But can he overcome those odds like he did on Monday Night Claw? And yes, he might target Skurumetso straight away, Jim. Like you say, in vengeance for that SFL final loss. <laughs> yeah, that does, that does rankle him. It is SFL 3 and 5. Skuro is the champ of... was the champ of. That's true, Jeff. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh wow. And here's here's the Artemis Black, of course. He also won a won a match on the lead up to Hell in a Cell and he got himself on the card by winning that uh, triple threat match. And here he is going for the going for the Wemdorp Championship. Yeah, he has listened to the call of duty and that call has said <laughs> get in the cell. <laughs> and become the best singles champion you can be. Possibly no longer interested, we'll have to see, in his triple tag teaming with the Welshies. He might want to go out alone. Let's see if that path carries on tonight. <laughs> Adam is, of course, famously banned from the SFL. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he did quit. He did quit Blood Bowl pretty much to play Call of Duty. Oh boy, here's the champ. They come out in a weird order because WWE 2K19 is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Here is one Frost Lord army. Oh, baby. The glorious title is the Wemdorp Championship. <laughs> and uh, you, you have to reminisce about the monster came when you see Frost Lord army. Uh, just such a, a similar hulking figure. 
Uh, similarly devastating in the JFW as Kane was back in the 90s in the WWF. And of course, that famous debut in Hell in a Cell. Will we see Frost Lord Army make this cell his home in a similar way? Yeah, we're about to find out. Boy, howdy. He's going to fix some violence. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Right into the eyeballs. Oh shit! It's the Stone Cold Killer! The most electrifying man in the JFW. <laughs> There's a murderer in the house, Jim. Lock your doors, <laughs> lock your windows. There's no staying safe tonight. And surely, if you can kill a man in wrestling anywhere, it's in Hell in a Cell. I would genuinely be fearing for my life if I was one of the opponents here with Flicky Flack coming to the ring. Good Lord. <laughs> Big up, Wank Nation. He should have that on himself, shouldn't he? Just realized. Uh, of course, it's not actually Wank Nation, Jim. It's it's wrestle and kick. So uh, so yeah. Yeah. Of course. The uh, the skills he's bringing to the ring, wrestle and kick. Yeah, both both very useful in wrestling matches. <laughs> yeah, they're all right, aren't they? Turns <laughs> out. Unless you listen to Vince McMahon, and then of course you know th this isn't a wrestling show. No, of course not. He's a sports entertainer. It is. <laughs> With great difficulty, uh, Mighty Manco. <laughs> um, no, to be fair, actually, I'm going to make new wrestlers soon. So there you go. So you can sign up there. And new new wrestlers will be getting made soon. Flicky Flack clearing out the old roster. <laughs> Courtesy of uh, murdering them to make space for new. <laughs> and, uh, he's not been tough on me. No, he's still healing from that hellacious match, that battle to the death that he had with Pepper Biscuit. Um, and here and is we saw that maybe those injuries cost him on Monday night, right, Jim? He, uh, he wasn't able to pull out the victory Monday. Exactly, yeah. Still feeling the effects of that brutal match. <laughs> no need for a naked picture, no. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please, no naked pictures. <laughs> Do you need yourself a hero in a half shell? Well, don't look any further, because here's Odon, baby. He's got his claws out, everyone else's armor down to seven. <laughs> Maybe watching the winner enter the ring here, the new Wendope champion. Let's find out. Yeah, Odon, of course, was dominant in the early days of JFW when we actually had, uh, we were actually able to run rumbles regularly. <laughs> <laughs> with with success, uh, he was pretty dominant in those days. But now, of course, uh, two K is a shit game, so rumbles aren't possible. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, fantastic vessel! <laughs> Slow and dumb, just like the Blood Bowl three discard. Fantastic. And here we go. This is probably going to be an absolute clusterfuck, like every match. But all you need to know is the title's on the line and Frosty's the champ. Yep, if you tuned in oh, for yes. scientific no, mesmerizing wrestling, you're probably in the wrong I'm event victorious. tonight. And but I if you've come defend. here for absolute destruction defend. and non-stop action, goodness me, we've got it all. We do have total non-stop action tonight. Wait, that's not... <laughs> whoa, whoa! We don't, we don't want to associate ourselves with them, Jim. Good lord, we're a higher caliber of show than that. The JFW. So Calcium unable to get his hands on Scurry yet. Flicky cut him off, but he's now paying the price. Um, Odont and Frost Lord Army, the defending champion, the first to fight on the outside, and Odont really taking it to him here. Yeah, absolutely. Manhandling man handling him and thank you very much night demon for uh gifting a sub to flicky flack absolutely glorious thank you very much first pin wins Help yeah me. frosty yeah it's like armageddon hell in a cell the first pin is the winner 
Undoubtedly, we'll see a lot of pins and submissions broken up tonight. And uh, often you see three lots of two fighting, but they kind of split into two lots of three here. Saying that Flicky Flax decided to, to join the group in the ring. Is it also Fool's Count anywhere, Jim, or does it have to be in the ring? It has to be in the ring. Oh, what a maneuver. So I guess that makes it easier to uh, focus on the people inside the ring for, you know, ending the match. At least you, at least you know people on the outside may be, uh, may be hurting each other, but... The win will happen in inside the squared circle. But of course, a lot of the devastation going on outside. Oh, oh, super kick to Artemis. Somehow stays on his feet and counters Skuro. Credit to Artemis here, putting on uh, a good show to start. Yeah, oh God. <laughs> Kaz is just being manhandled by Frosty there. Absolutely devastating. Oh. Frosty absolutely determined to hold on to his championship. Oh, oh, no blow! <laughs> oh, God, that's a dangerous strategy against somebody who's killed before. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> Carrying on, the uh, it was kind of a, a low blow special on Monday Night Claw, wasn't it? A, an inordinate <laughs> amount of low blows given, and uh, some of the main ending matches, either via pinfall or disqualification, but uh, no disqualification for them here. Mm. Absolutely not. Any ball shot could be a, could be a match ender tonight. Hello, Pepper Biscuit. Glorious to have you in the house. <laughs> what, Huge slam on Skuro by Odon. Now wrenching the neck. Trying to go for an early submission. Um, as Artemis taking down Flicky Flack. Huge man, Flicky Flack. But Artemis uh, still managing to get the better of him at the moment. Yeah, yeah I think he got some knuckle dusters out there to take him down. But... Uh... Unable to get the uh, submission broken up by Odont. Nice moonwalk. Of course, Flicky Flack might have the body size, might have the body size advantage on Artemis, but does not have the head size advantage. So <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see which which turns out to be more important here. <laughs> There's not many that have a head advantage on Artemis. I tell you. <laughs> Hello, Breaking Bad. Great to see you, man. Hello. Oh, Frost Lord Army making the most of his mask there, headbutting Flicky Flack. <laughs> Looked pretty devastating. Absolutely. No. Has, <laughs> hasn't done much here, but trying to take advantage of Frost Lord Army's work. Skuramezzo, though, with the breakup. Kaz could have won without actually performing a move to finish the match. That would have been amazing. Would have been some great opportunism. Lovely karate kick, actually, there from Kaz on Frostled Army, but then he gets caught on the second one. Wisely rolls out the ring to follow any further damage. And is Artemis going to get caught celebrating? He certainly is. Holy <laughs> God. <laughs> Devastating. Barely to back suplex off the ropes. And Flicky could win it from it. Oh, kick out from Artemis. Everybody's pinning after each other uh, wrestler's moves here, Jim. We, crazy, we might see a surprise winner if this carries on. Oh, here comes the Odonta bomb. Boosh. Oh, is, it, is he going to be able to, is he going to be able to pin might, the champ? Might need Artemis to break this up as he super kick Flicky. He does. He gets over in time. Well played, <laughs> Artemis. Truly a 70% wrestler in the JFW. <laughs> Can Skuro go for the pin after Frostlord <laughs> performs a manoeuvre? Oh, I again? think so many of the competitors have realised that you might as well take advantage of the strength of Frostlord <laughs> and pin whoever he hits here, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, but he's... Look at that, the devastating reverse choke slam. Going for the casual pin. Oh, great breakup <laughs> from Odon. That was surely over. I don't think I've ever seen an inverted chokeslam before. That is a heck of a maneuver from Frostlord. But he gets launched out the ring here, so as well as he's doing, he could, of course, lose it. Yeah, yeah, the champ does not have to be pinned. No, no champion's advantage in these matches. We uh, we famously saw a match many years ago. I think, was it a WrestleMania or No Mercy? I think it was at No Mercy 2001, where Kurt Angle went into a match versus Chris Benoit and Chris Jericho. The Intercontinental and European Championship was not pinned and submitted that night and lost both titles and another low oh. blow to Skuro. <laughs> Nobody's there to break it up. Oh, Frost Lord Army saves his own championship. <laughs> oh, boy. I remember that match. Yeah, incredible. 
Oh, look at that kick as well. Is ah, yeah, massive this? kick into a pin. Frostle Diamond going to have to save his championship again to get stuck on the ropes and just <laughs> makes it in time. Jeez. My God, that's so close. It's going to have been over about five times already, Jim. Unbelievable. <laughs> yes, Elf. <laughs> oh, huge DDT on Frost Lord Army. Will the mask have saved him? Skura's going to make the pin! <laughs> <laughs> In my opinion, one of the the opportunism in this match is absolutely awesome. I wonder if we're going to see this all night or whether it's just these competitors that have come up with this strategy. Credit mm. to them. I'm loving it. What a, what a match this has been. Classic already. Oh, up Frost Lord goes and down he comes. No one else in the ring. Oh, there's Artemis. <laughs> Oh, and Frosty tosses off Skuro casually. <laughs> <laughs> All the competitors in the ring now, and Frost Lord's bro Ooh. busted open. You can't see it too much under the mask, but that is going to drain the stamina out of him. He's going for another inverted choke slam. Oh, yeah, Ooh. just a massive gut punch, but Flicky Flack devastates Calcium Kaz. <laughs> Instant championship. <laughs> oh, this is a mess, Jim. Who's going to come out on top of this? It really is, yeah. Oh, pop a power bomb from Skuro. Calcium? Yep. Calcium. Calcium makes the save. That's with a breakup. And busts open oh, Skuro oh. with a series of MMA punches. He knows how to deliver those. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Skuro a bit on the shorter side makes him an easier target. Closer to that 14 year old that Calcium was used to punching. <laughs> oh, Flicky Flack <laughs> launched into the cage by Cas. If he'd just stayed and pinned Odon, he might have had it there because he'd wiped everybody else out. But for some reason, he's determined to go after Flicky. He already beat him on Monday Night Claw. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one of the people that Flicky's murdered is one of the thousands of Calcium Kaz's <laughs> children. I don't know. <laughs> Busted open on the cage from Odon, and he's getting double teamed here, Kaz, by Odon and Flicky. Oh, he manages to beat off Flicky, but uh, <laughs> Odon rolls him back into the ring. Oh, and the brutal spine buster, is this it? Nobody's there to break it up, that could be it, it's all over. Oh, 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 that slow count or what, that was such a late kick out, I can't believe Kaz has got out of that. Unbelievable. Oh, now get to the, the point. Yeah, oh yeah, wow, that's surely gonna hurt Kaz's shin more than uh, more than Odon's back. Skuro <laughs> taking advantage. Is anybody gonna be able to get in to break it up? It doesn't look like it. No. As Skuro become the new champion. No, Kaz is oh. kicking out again. How's he got anything left? <laughs> it's unbelievable from Kazu. <laughs> Getting to the point, Jim, where the other competitors are getting so worn out that we're, we're not seeing so many breakups of the pins now, are we? And Frost Lord to retain. Oh, Artemis, <laughs> keeping it going. My God. Has looking for a finisher on Skuro. Oh, but he misses, and he has to break up the pin from Art. <laughs> Oh wow, what a kick to Flicky. Knocks out Flicky, does Calcium. Oh, but then he eats a big elbow and then gives one back. Who's going to get the upper hand? Oh. A low blow! <laughs> this could be it if Skuro can't wake up. He is completely out of the ropes and I think we've got this a new champion, in. Jim. Woo! <laughs> He's done it! Unbelievable! The low blow! <laughs> the low blow. We saw it work so well on Monday Night Claw Calcium. The winner there as well. What a hot streak of form he's on. And he actually pinned the champion as well. Yeah, incredible. Incredible. So close to being eliminated on multiple occasions. Calcium somehow hung in there and got the devastating ball shot for the victory. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was the MVP by uh, an arm and a leg there. And that you know that that MMA training is going to come in handy to give him the stamina to be able to defend that Wemdoke Championship every single week. Absolutely incredible, incredible stuff. <laughs> Calcium does indeed have the sexiest belt in the Jeff <laughs> <laughs> Oh, baby. <laughs> And now
Now we've got the Plim Plum Pluserweight on the line, Le Bread Mask, up against five little guys. <laughs> the, the, the high flyers should be a wild one. Yeah, we saw some power punching and big slams in the last match. Now it's going to be the high flying, devastating top rope maneuvers. And here comes Papa Piccolo, baby. Boy, howdy. <laughs> <laughs> the million How's dollar bird. been doing in the JFW lately, Jim? Pardon? How's Papa Piccolo been doing in the JFW lately? He's, he's been on a tear, actually. He has actually been on a tear. He's won about three or four in a row. Uh, multi man matches as well. Wow. So he's probably the hot favourite to win this, I would imagine. Yeah, the number one contender then. Yeah, absolutely. Sporting the, uh, the Scott Steiner esque headwear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep. Some say it looks shit, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, could do, could do, breaking down, could do. Oh boy, it's Ripperdock. Ripperdock has been uh, been out of the JFW for a long while, but uh, he has come back, and uh, he's been he's been on a bit of a tear recently, winning that Bully Man match to get into the get into the fight. So there you go. Wow, yeah, could this be a glorious return? He looks like he'd be right at home, spending an evening with Flicky Flag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think one of the reasons Flicky kills so many people is the likes of Ripper Doc working for the JFW, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, it's fiction. What can you say about fiction? Um, not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he's here, you know? He tries. There's nothing stranger than fiction, Jim, that's for sure. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, he's half of a good magic card, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's maybe good. he'll just surprise us. We saw Zack Ryder win the Intercontinental Championships at WrestleMania a couple of years ago in a match he wasn't even supposed to be in. So uh, <laughs> rule fiction out at your own risk. <laughs> yeah. Stranger things have happened. But not to stranger people. <laughs> and oh, here he is. The Friday flip boy himself. <laughs> Plim plom plu. Coming out in the championship uh, designated fourth spot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty stupid, isn't it? I don't know why. How long has the bread mask been the, champ the champion at this point, Jim? Can you remember when he won it? Oh, God. Why have you got to put me on the spot like this? I haven't got a clue. I've, I don't know what happened like five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say you're a bit of an encyclopedia on things like uh, Games Workshop Canon, but then you didn't actually win Quiz Pit, did you? So, so maybe, uh, yeah, maybe I should ask Timmy. Yeah, probably the last pay per view to be fair. Um, but yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna, when we when we get the website sorted, I'll have like the reins and stuff on there. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? But until the then. man with no control over his arms, Muppet Pacman, baby. But if he can't control them, good luck if you're his opponent. Arm bars surely gonna have no effect on this man. <laughs> Absolute fan favourite, isn't he, Muppet? One of the first wrestlers in the JFW. The Giant Slayer. He'll be hard to beat. I, I make absolutely no secret. I'm a massive Muppet Pacman fan here, Jim, and I'll be quietly cheering him on in this one. <laughs> Glorious. And uh, here's Hippie. <laughs> 
what can you say about Hippie that hasn't been said before? Yep, I got nothing. <laughs> he likes playing Quidditch. <laughs> say it every time. <laughs> He's a Quidditcher. <laughs> That's why he's dressed like that. Um, he is the best at snatching that snitch, Jim. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's got an eye for the snitch. Not the snatch, as you said last night. The golden snatch. Oh, the golden snatch. Yes, we, we yeah that that's some that's that should be his gimmick something to do with a golden snatch. There you go. Not the only wizard in the JFW, of course. No, I wonder not. if at any point we'll find out which is the best. Yeah, maybe, maybe in the future. That will be settled. <laughs> very good, very good, J5. <laughs> Oh dear me, right. <laughs> so yeah, we've got... The champion LeBred Mask was uh, getting wrecked around the cage there early on. At some cage, got smashed into the steel steps, but he's making a bit of a comeback now. Yeah. In the ring, Muppet Patman with, uh, with an early submission on Ripper Dock. I don't think he's going to get a finish, but wearing him down... And uh, Fiction already not off to the best start if he is going to cause that upset. <laughs> At least he's got his short shorts on, though. And, you know, he's, he's just happy to be there, isn't he? We, we do love short shorts. <laughs> Can't blame a guy. Oh, I, I thought Muppet was going to get 619 for a minute then, Jim. <laughs> that would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Ooh. Fantastic stuff from Muppet already. Just quietly, I'm going to go for another 4 plus 619s tonight, Jim. Oh, God. I, I think two. I think two only. Oh, we only had one. I'll, I'll, I'll go on. I'll drop to three plus then. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, because, you know, you never know what's going to happen, right, in these games. They, they, these matches could quite likely not last very long at all um, if people can't get in to make the saves. Self rock bottom by fi uh, fiction there, nicely done. Sa seems about right for fiction to uh, to do a self rock bottom. <laughs> Does he? And he is quite big for a blues weight, so you know, he's got a big frame, so he, he might do all right. You never know. Well, I think those shoulders look a little bit bigger due to the giant fuzz um, <laughs> on them than uh, than maybe they actually are. But yeah, he's got a good amount of height on him, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! What Ripper Duck again having his arm wrench this time by Papa Piccolo might be a might be a way to pick up the win later if uh, anyone's keeping track of just how damaged that arm might have become. I think that's well beyond the capability of the average Jeff W. Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Piccolo just asking to be like Hurricane Ronald or suplexed off the top ropes here. Oh, I thought he's going to launch himself, but just eases down onto the apron. Incredible stuff. Muppet, Muppet. Getting worked over by a Ripper Doc, but manages to fight as well. He's quite yeah, a submission specialist. Yeah, a bit early specialist. for a submission finish, but uh, but it, it it all does damage, doesn't it, for later? Oh my goodness, that's a nice bridging uh, pin there by Muppet. Beautiful. But broken up by the Bread Mask. He doesn't want to give away his championship by somebody else getting finished. Absolutely. If any of these men are getting finished, Tom Schnees wants it to be him. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Does he have a golden snatch, Jim? <laughs> I cannot, cannot comment on that. I've never seen down there. <laughs> oh, low oh, blow. oh, the low blows continue. <laughs> Goodness me, won the last match. So many on Monday Night Claw and Fiction here. Dem dominating oh massive God. punch. This could actually be it already. No, not quite. <laughs> that was a great effort there by Fiction, Jim. Surprised me. It was, yeah. He nearly stole it. Unbelievable. Love to see the low blows. Oh, massive punch Bread. there. Bread Mass trying to retain and Fiction's uh, otherwise engaged so he couldn't break it up but uh, a quick kick out by Papa Piccolo. Oof.
Ripper Doc really has taken some damage. He was outside for a long time then recovering, but he's finally back in the ring and going after the champion, but he misses. Fiction still the one dominant in the ring. <laughs> I must say, based on what we've seen so far, he might be my new favourite, Jim. I can't believe I'm saying those words. <laughs> he has been pretty dominant. Unbelievable. Oh, Rupert Duck was going for a finisher, I believe, there, but Muppet intercepted it. Yeah, nearly started his match, so to speak, but it, unfortunately, still no luck for Ripper Duck. He's taken a hell of a beating, and he's thrown to the outside by the champion. And, uh, yeah, it's, oh, finally, an elbow to the champion's gut. Turns it around. Three of them battling it out in the ring. Papa Piccolo getting the upper hand at the moment. DDT. <laughs> Nakua? Oh, I really just thought Fiction was going to break that up there, but he was two days. Thankfully, still just too early for that to be the end. And the uh, the subsequent submission is broken up by the champion of Fiction. Oh, oh self-rock bottom. Got to break this oh. up. Oh, Ooh, last second breakup from, from Ripper Dog. I thought that would be an easier kick out, but uh, some damage has been dealt now. Yeah, I mean, they've all been outside the ring, haven't they? And, uh, oh, God, the bread mask taken down there off the apron. Massive slam on Ripper Doc by Fiction, and, and Ripper Doc undoubtedly has <laughs> taken the most punishment of anyone so far in this match, but he gets distracted and goes after Muppet. I don't know if you noticed there, but there was a massive flying nothing by Hippie there. Completely missed everybody. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I was just going to ignore it, but yeah, yes, there was. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like those moments, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, oh no, they're fantastic. I'm, I'm such a big Brainworms fan. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Nothing much going on in the ring now. People using the outside to, to best devastate their opponents, and it's the champion getting double teamed on the outside right now, slammed into the steel Ooh. structure with devastation. Fiction managing to go to ground before crashing into the structure. Papa Piccolo's having a great match as well, Jim. He is, yeah. Jim, very impressive. Muppet just quietly dead outside the ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've, we've not seen anything in Muppet, but biding his time. Oh, and if those is. arms come to life, anything can happen. Oh! Oh! Oh, double team on Fiction! He's out! He's completely out! <laughs> brutal. Absolutely Oh, fighting! Brutal. Back! I swear Fiction is up for this one tonight, Jim. I don't know how he recovered so quickly from that. Incredible. His head had become a foot sandwich. <laughs> and he has wisely taken to the outside. Massive splash oh. from Muppet. That's what we've come to expect from the plim plum pluserweights, baby. <laughs> Incredible stuff. Oh, and the 619. No, no, he couldn't go for it. The bread Broke mask up. interrupted it. Bust the champion open and go into the top rope. Could we oh, see the boy. second champion pin for the title change tonight in a row, Jim? It Nobody looks like else it could is up be. to break up a cover. Come on, Muppet, what are you doing? Oh, go. Frog Splash, he's done it. It's over, Jim. Muppet's the champion. He's print the champion. Woo! Oh, unbelievable! <laughs> Everyone was just ruined, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they really were. Wow. <laughs> Muppet really is like the highest flying of the Plim Plum Pluserweights. That's kind of like being the best of the best, isn't it? Like amazing frog splashes there from Muppet. Incredible, yeah, incredible high flying stuff from the unnatural snacker. <laughs> I can't believe we've seen two champions pinned to lose their titles tonight. That is unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, that, like, that is really weird. unlikely. Yeah, really unlikely. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Oh, glorious. Thank you very much, Pepper Biscuit, for gifting the sub to Store, baby. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, yeah, J5, he got pinned, so there you go. Um, 
And now it's the Two Heads Championship. Um, this is going to be a triple threat Hell in a Cell match. Uh, two, two teams taking on Cock and Ball Torture. <laughs> I just can't see how Cock and Ball Torture don't win this one, Jim. We got a bit of a preview on Monday Night Claw, didn't we? And they work together like, I don't know, like uh, peanut butter and jelly. They were amazing. <laughs> Taking down more established singles wrestlers by using their tag team nuance. And yeah, yeah. I just I just can't see how that doesn't work tonight. Yeah, they were. They were absolutely incredible on, on Monday. Yeah, that's very true. Cocky winning that massive, uh, you know, Clash of Champions match in the... Uh, in the hell, in the cell, but not the hell. There was just there was just a cell <laughs> on Monday night. <laughs> now it's hell in a cell, <laughs> and that definitely favours the members of Six Feet Down Under. It's Gengar, it's Gadenik, a Tomb Guardian, and a zombie. Well, Gadenik and Gengar did also win on Monday, but they took a very different uh, technique in doing so, didn't they? Um, they they beat uh, more Plovac and Space Cadet by basically getting beaten up for about half an hour and then doing a move and winning. So uh, <laughs> use, using their undeath to their advantage there. May, will we see a similar strategy tonight? Yeah, we might. We might do. Yeah, that's very true. And of course, the champs come out fourth when it's uh, <laughs> when it's singles, <laughs> but when it's tag teams. The champs come out second. <laughs> <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> yeah, that, that glorified middle spot of <laughs> <laughs> coming out. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Got to be, got to be how it is. Look how up for it they are. Here, Jim. Yeah, they're, 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 they're a well-oiled machine, aren't they? They're a well-oiled ball-munching machine. And to be honest, like again, they are going to benefit from this no-rules no format, aren't they? You know, the ball shots are plenty. <laughs> yep, they've never been afraid to break the rules, and occasionally that has cost them in regular matchups. But yeah, surely a massive advantage tonight. Oh, one of the big players, Night Demon, joining us in the chat. Great to see you, Night Demon. Yep. <laughs> the legend of the JFW. And oh boy, it's dressed for business. Lemon is good. How do you beat how do you beat a lemon, Jim? Well, I, I guess you have to make lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Night Demon knows a thing or two about that. He, he eliminated him instantly. <laughs> I think that was in that. Was that in Hell in a Cell? It could have been. I can't remember. There was some multi man match where, where Lemon was just <laughs> instantly destroyed by Night Demon. <laughs> uh, he'll be hoping tonight goes better for him. <laughs> Night Demon, dominant in the past with the Streamer Championship. Or the, sorry, the Stream Championship? Yes, Stream Championship, yeah. <coughs> That's true. Well, we've paired off into Randor things and uh, good start for every, every team's. Different teams have got the upper hands here, haven't they, in each pairing? Yeah, yeah, there was, there was no. Uh... No team that had both their members <laughs> dishing out the uh, the damage there, but it is Cockerball Torture now of everybody maybe getting on top. We called them out as the favorites to defend, and they are starting as they mean to go on. Gedaning now, though, pulling it back against Moradam. Oh, nice counter from Moradam. More ducks under that. Nice yeah, and then down. dishing out the punches. Gonna send Gadenik to the outside. Cocky's been taken out and dressed for business, or uh, sticking the boots to Gengar here. Well, they certainly are six feet down under, taking some serious punishment. But this is what we saw happen on Monday, and they were able to just absorb it. And then when their opponents got tired, finish them off. It was a little like a Homer Simpson boxing match. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Cocky going for the legs of Gengar. Good plan. Good plan. Wear down the legs of the bigger man. Yep. Yep. Kicking that decay. 
He has to roll <laughs> twice every time uh, he has a submission on those limbs. Kadir yeah. now taking it to the goblin. Used to dealing with uh, bizarre wildlife, isn't he, in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just presume that everything is venomous and you go from there. <laughs> Six feet down under. They're, they're working well as a team as they both exit the ring together. <laughs> Maybe they need to start <laughs> punching people together. <laughs> yeah, hard to pick out who's getting on top here. Genga just going out to the outside where nobody else is. Uh, Cocky lying down in the ring. Lemon taking uh, some nice blows to Gdanik. He's certainly getting an upper hand. Cocky's just standing around <laughs> on his own. <laughs> <laughs> and now with Moradam, uh, and they're not going to do anything to each other. They are literally just chilling out. And maybe that's the kind of tag team nuance that's going to win them this match, that's made them the champions up to this point. Yeah. Oh, you can't nice get hurt time. if you don't do anything. That's true, yeah. That's my, uh, that's my motto for life, basically. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't play Blood Bowl, you can't get salty. Exactly. People Ooh. not afraid to take it to the big man here, are they? Fan Fox uh, going to the top rope, is he? No, Gadanik's in the way, blocking <laughs> Fan Fox from taking it to, to Ooh, Gengar. Fantastic. Uh, Gengar gets, uh, gets kicked in the nuts by Cocky there. Oh, yeah, and there's I'm not been sure a that testicular. Was worth it. And Moradam take it down, Lemon. There's nobody there to break it up. Cockerball touch. Oh, Oof. Gengar somehow running in to make the save. Fantastic save there from Gengar. Oof. Oh, the Oof. low blow to Fan Fox. It's over. <laughs> there really is no one this time, Jim. Oh, Cockerball's just celebrating. <laughs> they're, they're so good, Jim. They're so good. There's no stopping these two. <laughs> Out of nowhere, the ball shot just devastates Fan Fox. Oh boy. Brutal I like how about 50% of JFW Warriors. matches that I've called so far on no, two shows have been ended by ball in. shots. Until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. Oh, look at that. I the instant defend. celebration from Cocky was amazing. Hell in a cell hype, Jim G, Jim <laughs> Chan, Jim G. He knew, Jim. Yeah, They've been doing this a long time. They know how to get it done better than any other tag team in the JFW. Yeah, incredible performance and easily retain their title. And thank you very much, Unseen Walker, for staying fantastic for 32 glorious months. It who will be the pregnancies? Glorious. Thank you very much. Oh, boy. What a performance. Cock and ball torture. Can anybody stop them? Well, can can anybody endure cock and ball torture? I, I don't know about you, Jim. I couldn't. No, I uh, certainly couldn't. <laughs> I never want to face them. <laughs> 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 well, now we're straight to the, the world championship now. It's Squirrel Dude with his horrible tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> um, taken on. Oh, this is Peppered Biscuit's music. <laughs> Can't hear Thought it. he was dead, Jim. <laughs> he is. He was dead, yeah. He was dead. But now he is undead. It's worse than that, Jim. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Death couldn't stop him. Can Squirrel Dude or one of the opponents? I, I don't think so, Jim. I'm going to call it right now. Peppered Biscuits on death. It's going to lead him to victory here. Yeah, he's got to be the favorite, hasn't he? He's, he is a monster. He is an absolute monster. How, like, you know, the, the thing that is going against him is the fact that it's a six-man match, right? Um, but yeah, a terrifying opponent to face for sure. They, they, they're going to have to gang up on him five on one to have any chance. But purely by coincidence, by the way, Jim, my present for Father's Day today was fire and cane whiskey, which is uh, <laughs> insanely, insanely appropriate for uh, for watching Peppered Biscuit. 
in Hell in a Cell. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Oh, wow. Well, from a terrifying monster to a, a friendly old man. <laughs> Brilliant. Purple chest here. Oh, we've talked about serial killers. Purple Chest is just a serial winner. He knows how to get it done. He doesn't even have to look at what he's doing. Um, he, he just finds a way to win in whatever competition he's in. And, uh, you know, this is already looking like an incredibly high standard match. Yeah, incredible stuff. I was absolutely terrified there when you were going to call him a serial something else. But, I'm genuinely like completely shocked. I was like, you can't say that. <laughs> but no, he's a serial. He's a serial winner. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of serial winners, here's the here's the three-time CCL champ. The the probably the most the winningest active CCL player um, right now, and he's been in in super hot form in the JFW as well. It's Ducky. Yeah, oh, what what can you say about Ducky? Not not only the three-time CCL champ, all with uh, different teams. He knows how to get variety done. So Hell in a Cell, not going uh, to bother him at all. And if we go back to WrestleMania, Jim, we saw some of the best... Um, what the hell is that other structure called? <laughs> um, yes, with the escape part. Elimination Jim. Um, yeah, we saw some of the best Elimination Chamber uses and maneuvers ever at WrestleMania in JFW history by Ducky. So will we see some of the best Hell in a Cell maneuvers ever from him tonight? Maybe, yeah. He certainly bulked up. And here we have the coveted fourth sp entrance spot. <laughs> 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 it's the champ, Squire L Dude. What a glorious... Well, he, he has been at the top of his game for a long time, hasn't he? He's been he's fought for every belt out there. He's held multiple championships. Um, he's got the worst tattoo in the history of JFW. You know, <laughs> just, just absolutely amazing competitor. Yeah. <laughs> he probably shouldn't have got that tattoo, but there you go. You know, everyone makes mistakes, don't they? <laughs> We've, we've all had that holiday in Spain where we've got hammered and at six in the morning it seemed like a good idea. <laughs> yep. You think you're having a dream but you wake up with a nightmare. See what I, see what I did. We've finally that? seen some champions retain tonight, Jim. Maybe, just maybe, we'll see two in a row. Yeah, maybe. Um, what's the name of the squirrel in 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 SpongeBob? Oh boy, it's Dimmy! <laughs> oh, three plus one equals six, Jim. Dimmy thinking that the mathematically the odds are in his favour tonight. It being a six-man match. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's not burst his bubble. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's brilliant. But in a way, it does, right? Because, you know, oh, how are you going to... If you go one-on-one -on -one with Peppered Biscuits, you're looking at like a 17.5% chance at best at beat him. But, um, you know, the other people, he might get ground down by the other people, right? You know, and, and like other things can happen, so... This might uh, this this might work in his favour. The all the extra men, you know, the, the distractions. It could when be when the unstoppable Dimmy's force man. meets the immovable object and cancels each other out. Whatever's left wins, Jim. And I think you're saying that could just be Dimmy G. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Dimmy's wants what is whatever's left after the good guys have fought. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, howdy, it's one half of the YPA. It's Foxomania. He is the ex EAB champ, and now he's coming for the World Championship. Unbelievable. He knows how to get it done. He knows how to have Wi Fi. He knows how to make a good cup of tea. It is Yorkshire, baby. <laughs> Only famous for their Wi-Fi in Yorkshire. <laughs> That's pretty.
totally random but glorious. F fresh, fresh from Bean Manor. Here he is. It was twenty-one inch pipe. Plus that wasn't it. Plus that was uh, was Yorkshire uh, was Yorkshire broadband. I think, unless I'm going crazy, <laughs> quite probably am. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck me, Jeff. Squirrel dude, not messing around here. Devastating Yorkshire in the corner. Purple chest straight onto Demi G and Ducky, surprisingly. Well, maybe not. We've said how good Ducky is, but really taking it to Peppered Biscuit. Yet to be seen how just how good Peppered Biscuit will be following his death. It has hindered wrestlers in the past. Yeah, uh, I just randomly typed that all that to fill up the screen. No, no, nothing to see here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, J5. Well, let's concentrate on the action in the ring now. Um, oh, wow, look at this. Uh, all, all the action outside. Purple Chest getting thrown around each way by Dimmy G. He's, uh, he, we said he was feeling confident, showing it. Oh, but Purple Chest with the counter and Dimmy G eats ring apron. The only two in the ring at the moment that could win it, Ducky and Peppered Biscuit. That you would suspect is a little bit too early for a successful pin and submission, but we have seen early finishes before. The champion also deciding to fight on the outside with Yorkshire, but getting the upper hand, he is determined to hold on to this title. And this has got to be a tough match for PC, hasn't it? That that uh, that that blindfold, you know, he can deal with it in a one-on-one -on -one situation, but when there's five other guys, he could just get surprised. You know, they're going to come at him from all angles, aren't they? You would have to think, yeah, that his, his peripherals surely can't be at the same level as the other operators here. But but part of, like, he is just showing, isn't he? He's, he's setting fear in the hearts of his competitors, saying, I don't need all my senses, Jim. Four is enough. I can smell Dimmy coming from a mile away. <laughs> and peppered biscuits, presumably. <laughs> Oh, lovely roll through by Squirrel Dude into a submission on PC and Dibby struggling to break it up, but he does eventually. Oof. Just in time, you'd have to think. Just in time. Oh, the oh. low blow! It's over, Jim! <laughs> We've seen this already twice tonight and many times on Monday Night Claw. Now he doesn't go for the pin. Oh, no. Dibby with his own source of wisdom as normal, <laughs> not going for the finish after the devastating low blow. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, they well, don't they call him the Cerebral Assassin. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> With good reason. <laughs> oh, boy, here's Pepper Biscuit. He's got Ducky up. Oh, Unbelievable power move. All competitors in the ring. Everybody ready for a pin. And everybody ready to break up a pin. And Dimmy makes the save again. He's actually been surprisingly alert making the save so far, Jim. <laughs> he has been. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why you'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> He's just throwing himself on the ground. Oh, it's the fox lock! It's the fox lock! This could be it! It could be all over! He's, He's got to save it again! Come on, he does! Oh Timmy, with the God. third save, I, I'm not even sure he always knows he's in a wrestling ring, <laughs> let alone whether he needs to make the save or not, but he's really on the ball tonight. I'm calling it now. Timmy's my new favourite. <laughs> Timmy! Oh... Misses there, going after Squirrel Dude. Oh, it's Squirrel Dude's finisher, the last ride. Oh. oh my goodness, last ride, but there's three guys ready to break it up. Surely Yorkshire's got this, he does. Otherwise, that, that could have been it. Dimmy hasn't taken much damage so far, but so hard to kick out of the last ride. Everybody in the ring again. <laughs> Biscuit finally takes uh, a journey to the outside, as does Yorkshire. PC voluntarily joining and Ducky, so we have Squirrel Dude and Dimmy in oh. the ring. The low blow! Oh, this could be it, the champion's it. down. No, he wants to go for his finisher instead. Oh. Is Purple Chest going to get in the way? Oh. No. He's got it, Jim. He's, He's got, got it. The rude awakening. Look at those whip, uh, hips wiggle. <laughs> oh, PC takes him out. <laughs> If anyone pins Squirrel Dude, it's over, Jim. But I don't think anyone's realised. Oh, man. They're just ignoring him. I can't Look believe it. Look at Squirrel it. Dude's arms. He, he is completely unconscious. <laughs> oh. Finally crawling to the ropes. 
Oh, but PC realizes his opportunity, but oh. maybe too late. There's been about a 15 count with Jimmy on the floor. Pe PC oh. broke up his own pin to try and stop <laughs> Pepper Biscuit from breaking Ducky. From pinning Ducky, sorry. Good lord. That's a new strategy by me. <laughs> Incredible stuff. Oh, oh, wow. Massive. Is he a flying squirrel, Jim? Because that was a massive clothesline through the air, and he's going to the top rope. Pepper Biscuit in all sorts of trouble. Oh, beautiful. Dimmy in with a save again. Though. That's about the fourth save from Dimmy. Amazing performance in this match so far from him. It really is, yeah. Absolutely incredible stuff from Dimmy. He's going to counter Squirrel Dude, the champion, who he has low blowed and performed a finisher on. Didn't get the opportunity to get the pin on that occasion. In fact, we've seen absolutely no interest from Dimmy in making a pin, only breaking them up. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he broke up his own pin attempt later. <laughs> and he's kicking the shit out of Squirrel Dude here. Oh my god, this... <laughs> um, <laughs> Squirrel Dude and PC uh, doing a wrestling of their own kind on the outside. I think the camera should probably cut away. <laughs> Your Chico for the win. Can PC break it up? He can. Oh, that's so close. <laughs> Holy Me and Daddy, what, what were you doing? We, we were just wrestling, son. We were just wrestling. <laughs> it's a withdrawn offense. Oh my god, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we're back in the ring again. This is the most action we've had in the ring in any of the matches so far tonight. Peppered Biscuit oh, eats. Wow. Eats, the, eats the ring post. Dimmy stump, stomping a mud hole and now choking him out with his shin. Dimmy is on a tear. He really is. He's loving it. Look at that. All the other competitors have cleared out. A chance here for Dimmy. So he chooses to celebrate. <laughs> and, and then ignores the one man in the ring, ready for a pin. Yep. Classic dim strategy, strategy here. Dimmy! <laughs> oh, thanks, Punch. <laughs> Dimmy. Going for the Daka with Camry. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Yorkshire now trying to take it to the champion, but the champion reverses. Oh, massive drop kick. <laughs> Look at the elevation on that, but it does send Yorkshire to the outside. So now Ducky and Squirrel Dude double teaming PC. Oh, it's a Ducky foul. Oof. <laughs> it's. Oh, 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 man. <laughs> Send him off, ref. Where are the double? <laughs> Dimmy with the save again. This is... I am so impressed with Dimmy. Other than his complete lack of interest in finishing an opponent <laughs> off with a pin or submission. He's, uh, he's saved the match six times now. He really has, yeah. He's been on the ball, hasn't he? Oh, now he's getting ruined by Pepper Biscuit, though. Oh, God. Yeah, Pepper Biscuit had a massive rest. He is ready to take the fight. Oh, wow, look at the, the nozzle. Oh, what a sequence from Squirrel. Incredible. He really is the most athletic out of these competitors, isn't he, Squirrel? Every time I, I see him, I'm so impressed. Oh, he's not so athletic when he's getting Tombstone Power Drive. <laughs> This could be and it. nobody's there to make the save. I don't know how much PC has done this match, but he's probably the new champion. No! Oh, oh my goodness. I thought that was it. Oh, that, is, that has got to be the latest kick out we've seen tonight. Squirrel Dude just hanging on to his championship for a moment longer. That was unbelievable. That's maybe the latest kick out ever. That was unbelievable. <laughs> oh, my oh, goodness. Wow. You're properly back in this now. Oh, wow. I can't believe PC isn't the new champion. My brain is having to calibrate that. That was unbelievable, yeah. Oh, Ducky! Unbelievable reverse Hurricane Rana. Squirrel Dude never saw it coming. Rolls to the outside. Dimmy and Pepper Biscuit have been out forever. Yorkshire's on a tear, but Ducky as well. And now finally they're faced off against each other. If one of them can perform a finisher, this match is over. And that's all she wrote. Ooh. Ducky getting the upper hand, massive slam. Somehow, Dimmy's come round and he's broken it up again. <laughs> what is this performance from Dimmy? <laughs> DDT, is he going to win it? Oh, yes, it's so deserved. No. Oh. No. Oh, the fans wanted it, Jim.
stadium. The fans wanted it so much. There's no justice. Most dice man in the JFW. <laughs> It's not getting broken up. Ooh. Oh, Ducky hasn't taken enough damage, I don't think, Jim. Mm. Many of the competitors here now on the absolute uh, last legs, but Ducky, I feel like he's got a little bit more left in him. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, Foxamania doesn't look like he's going to have much left in him after this. Oh, devastating. From Peppered Biscuit. Dimmy's in the ring. Oh, takes a boot from Ducky. Is Ducky going to break it up? He does. Oh, oh, Jim. oh my Last goodness. second from Ducky. It's a huge power slam as Yorkshire gets busted open from Dimmy. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to break this up, though, and it's Squirrel doing the champion himself, <laughs> saving his belt once more. Goodness me, anyone could win now. Unfortunately for Dimmy and Dimmy fans, he is completely out of it on the outside. But the other five competitors in the ring, huge power slam again from Pepper Biscuit on PC. That is probably the end of PC's hopes as Squirrel Dude goes for a finisher on Ducky. Oh. And the pin attempt, but Squirrel's going to save his championship. Yep, that was yep. never going to finish. But nobody <laughs> is up. If Pepper Biscuit can get this in oh, and put in the pin, suplex. nobody's up, Jim. Oh. Oh, that? baby. Oh, baby. Squirrel dude is on fire. There goes Pepper Biscuit. Ducky's trying to stir, but he catches him. Somehow, PC gets up. I don't know how PC's got anything left. I don't think he does. He's, whisked, he's missed wildly three times in a row. Four times well, in a row. Can't see Jim. To be fair, he's got a blindfold over his eyes. Have you tried wrestling with your eyes closed? No, I haven't, no. I can't even play Blood Bowl with my eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Cocky. Oh, tag team extraordinaire, <laughs> Cocky, in the chat. Hello, sir. Roll through again from Squirrel Dude into finisher. I love that maneuver. It's oh, unbelievably it. good. I'm not surely going to win it. PC can't have anything left. He's got to tap. Oh, my oh. goodness. He gets out of it. What fight from PC. Unbelievable. Oh, into the power driver. But there is our man, our hero of the hour again. <laughs> Too sweet no to be sour. <laughs> Dying to break kick up. <laughs> break up number eight from Dimmy. <laughs> he can't even count to the amount of breakups that he's now done in this match, Jim. <laughs> oh, God, he's just laying waste to everyone. <laughs> oh, my goodness, he is. He's clearing house. PC gone. Yorkshire <laughs> gone. <laughs> Squirrel dude, low blown. It's over, Jim. He's got it. He's got it. Dimmy's the champion. Yes. Heaven's no. low. How did he wake up just in time? Oh, Dimmy fans are devastated. <laughs> Crying into their tears, but oh no, he, he slams Pepper Biscuits. He's got it this time. Surely. He doesn't pin him. Why is he not pinned him, Jim? I don't know. He doesn't like to pin people. I think he's taken Space Cadet's advice. So there's no point pinning somebody. <laughs> <laughs> You'll just lose later. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, Timmy, no. Calling for a finisher again. He's got it as well. The neck, gonna, massive yeah. neck breaker is in on Pepper Biscuit, but Ducky and Squirrel Dude ready to respond. Oh, but oh. Ducky's, Ducky's nailed, Squirrel. Yeah, oh, he breaks up the pin. That was it, but Ducky was always there to break it up. Dimmy, though, now every time someone breaks up his pins, <laughs> Dimmy absolutely wrecks them. If he can clear Ducky out, he can still get the pin, Jim. <laughs> Ducky's gone. All he's got to do is turn around. No, Dimmy. Don't take a breather now. Don't go to the fridge. Leave the fridge door open, Dimmy. He's just going to celebrate. On, oh, no, Dimmy. No, no. Dimmy. No. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Pepper Biscuit, the only one active in the ring with Yorkshire Kiwi. Oh, and he throws Yorkshire Kiwi out. <laughs> Ducky gets thrown in by Dimmy, but followed in. Pepper Biscuit gone to the outside. PC back in the ring. Ducky's completely got Dimmy's go. I don't know if anyone knows where they are anymore, Jim. <laughs> no, These guys been going at it. An unbelievable amount of time in Hell in a Cell, and they seem to have lost all of their coordination. Yeah, this is... Oh, oh, look, there's, there's the, uh, the rude awakening from Dimmy. Oh... Baby, Ducky is down. It's over, Jim. No, don't look at Ducky. Pin him. He's pinned him. <laughs> oh, this Yorkshire. could be it. It's no save. Surely, Pepper Biscuit, not there in time. It's oh, done. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Timmy yes. won. The champ is here, Jim. Yes. Timmy the champ. <laughs> How 
did he do it? That is the best strategy oh, I've oh, ever seen in JFW. He made the most saves I've ever seen. He deliberately didn't pin until later, just like Space Cadet told him. And he is the new world champion, Timmy G. <laughs> Unbelievable. Timmy the champ. <laughs> Who'd believe it? <laughs> wow. It really did increase he his chances. Him. He's no. told us for years that he's the next big thing in JFW. <laughs> Nobody believed him except for his own mum. And, and, and now here he is with the belt. Oh my god, oh, Jim, I'm a wreck. Oh, I'm, I'm emotional. I'm so sorry, Jim. I'm going to have to have a minute. Oh, you're a wreck. Oh, I thought you said something else. <laughs> That's rude from Rick. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited. I'm not that excited. My desk is tilted at an angle. Oh, Jim. That's off. Oh, oh, baby. Incredible. Incredible. What the absolute scenes as Dimmy G is the champ. Unbelievable. And well, now I've got to follow up with the extra arms belt match. And here's Night Demon. Boy, howdy. He beat Pepper Biscuit for the to, to choose his match, and maybe that took a bit out of Pepper Biscuit as well. Pepper Biscuit wasn't up to his usual standard, I don't think, in the in the heavyweight championship match, and maybe that was it. He took five zombies on Friday night. <laughs> maybe that, maybe that, uh, you know, cost Pepper Biscuit a little bit. But uh, Night Demon looked in incredible form on Friday. Well, Jim, Rick Reckless took five zombies at the last pay-per-view and still retained, so that's just no excuse in <laughs> my book. Um, Pepper Biscuit may be more a little bit hindered by now being dead. There are fewer wrestlers, if you look at the annals of wrestling history, that uh, that have won the World Championship after dying uh, than those that are that are currently alive. So, yeah, that I, I think it more comes down to that. But, yeah, it wasn't quite his best performance there, but it was just so good from Dimmy. I just don't know if you could beat a man on that kind of form. Absolutely uh, amazing from him. But yeah, Night Demon, he's just so devastating in every match he's in and always a big favorite. Absolutely. And it's him, it's him, it's JBG, the other half of the Yorkshire Protection Agency. <laughs> JBG. Glorious. If you can't be bad, be good. And sometimes Johnny B is very good. Let's see which Johnny B we see tonight. <laughs> Johnny B goodish. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be celebrations in Bean Manor after all? <laughs> Indeed, Cookie. Indeed. Dimmy the Champ. First quiz pit, and now JFW World Championship. Is there any stopping Dimmy G in oh, 2021? Baby. The sexiest man in JFW, maybe in wrestling history. This entrance lasts forever, and I love every single second. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's the best. <laughs> Believe Goliath Games had a birthday this last week, Jimmy. Will we see some birthday celebrations in the ring tonight? Maybe. God no I, I'm, God knows that wouldn't be wouldn't be PG. God I'll spit it out eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Not as slow as I had to take Plim Plom Plus away, Jim, earlier. <laughs> Absolutely love Goliath Games finisher. It is devastating. If he gets that off, no man is getting up. <laughs> yep. It's a lot of man. The biggest man in the JFW is, uh, is Goliath. Represented in the JFW Superstars BBSL team. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, the latest team to have qualified for the playoffs, Jim. 
yeah, incredible stuff, isn't it? Uh, Cano winning, winning Group A, and Rick Reckless finishing second with Ogus. <laughs> Unbelievable. The table is upside down, they chant, but uh, but there we go. That is that is the truth. There we are. Yeah, incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. Forty minutes later, Goliath Games entrance now over. <laughs> Who's the next competitor? It's Rick Reckless, oh, of course. It's the coveted number four spot. <laughs> wow, I, I was uh, off the ball for a second there, Jim. My apologies. The coveted number four spot, Rick Reckless. Yes. <laughs> oh, brilliant stuff. He's confident, isn't he? Well, he is, and the fans going crazy. But I've got to be honest; I think this guy's a bit of a jobber. I've I've got him down as uh, probably the least favourite um, to to win this one. When you look at the competition, <laughs> never never been a fan of Rick Reckless myself, Jim. I don't quite get the hype. <laughs> well, he is loved by all, as Cocky just said, and uh, you know he did he did come out on top against Extra Arms, but all seven foot four. 640 pounds of EAB in an Ironman match to win the title, you know, unbelievable. Uh, but now he's got to beat off five men at once, and I don't think he's got that much experience of that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've I've heard that uh, Rick Reckless beats off many men uh, on a, on a regular basis, Jim. So uh, yeah, we'll 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 see. We'll see whether he's got those skills. Talking of uh, of beating off men. <laughs> Table leg wanger, baby. What what a man he is. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah, two of the uh, two of the biggest, sexiest men in the JFW in this match. Glorious. Oh, hey, wanger. Certainly is. We're going to see some some power collide here, and and whatever survives <laughs> might just be standing tall as the champion at the end. Absolutely. Uh, wanger and uh, Goliath had that amazing match at WrestleMania, and now they're both in. The extra arms belt championship match. Unbelievable. Yeah, we've got a few feuds ongoing here. We've uh, previously spoke of Night Demon and Rick Reckless at the at the previous pay-per-view as well. Yeah, so, uh, Backlash. The backlash, yeah. So who's who's going to be the sixth competitor? <laughs> it's it's Volk for Gore. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. Wow. I'd, I'd heard he'd qualified for this match, but I thought that he had a quiz night to attend and he wasn't going to be here. So a, a surprise number six to me, Jim. <laughs> yeah, he, he won his match. He, like, it was a crazy match as well, wasn't it? I can't remember who he beat, but it was very surprising. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, surely the most stylistic uh, wrestler in the JFW with, uh, you know, with that Gucci t-shirt going on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, Volk big Foxomania and Wanger, so he you know he completely earned his spot in this match. So Oh uh, yeah. I, I called Rick Reckless a jobber and said he was the least favourite Jim. I'm gonna promote him to, to second least favourite <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, well you know, Volk is here, he's happy to be here, you can tell he's happy. Look at that. He's he's happy <laughs> to be here. He might he might do the business, you never know. Anything can happen. We we said we didn't fancy Fiction to win earlier, and, and you know, he didn't. But <laughs> he actually gave a, a hell of a showing, didn't he, Fiction? Maybe we'll get uh, a, a repeat here from Volk. Yeah, maybe. He's gone straight after Rick. Trying to make and, uh, a name for himself. I'd, I'd normally say going after the champion, not the best strategy. You know, try and work out who the weakest competitor is, wear them down and finish them off. But... Actually, the first two matches tonight, the champion was pinned for the title, so... Yeah, very good point. Maybe Volt can make this a three-peat. I remember who was pinned in the last one, sorry. I got so, uh, so delighted Dimmy won. <laughs> it was PC. It was, it was PC. Thank you, Jim. I didn't think it was the champion again. No, it was, it was like arguing with, a, it was arguing with a fridge, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a fridge. <laughs> words between PC and Dimmy.
<laughs> I'm punching sand. <laughs> well, this, this time the sand punched back. <laughs> Dimmy pinned PC to win the World Championship. Unbelievable. Oh, oh god, Night Demon, a brutal suplex to Volk. Dimmy proving that, uh, kind of like uh, Diving Tackle, if you don't know the odds are against you, then, uh, then they're really not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've oh. had three title changes already tonight, Jim, out of four so far. Will we get four out of five? It, it is a format tonight, isn't it, where it's so hard for the champions to defend. Yeah, that's the thing. There's no champion's advantage. There's five other competitors. It is a very, very hard match to retain in. And uh, particularly this field, you've got two absolute giants. You've got a, a fucking demon voodoo zombie thing. Um, you've got JBG, consummate professional. And Volk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the the less said about the latter, the better. But yes, absolutely <laughs> incredible field. This this is anybody's anybody's game uh, other than Volk's. And uh, yeah, a great great start from uh, from Table Leg Wangan. He he flew off the top rope with an elbow there, Jim. I, I didn't know he had that in his arsenal. Yeah, he's 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 you know he's, he's got a lot in his arsenal. To be honest, he hides all sorts of things <laughs> up there. <laughs> Called table leg for a reason. Rick now working on Night Demon, so that feud <laughs> is continuing in the ring now. Uh, Night Demon with the reversal, though. Arm drags Rick down. Can he get off the... He said in the chat he's going to pull off uh, six zombies tonight to go one better than last time and finally uh, defeat Rick for the championship. Can you see six zombies happening, Jim? Uh, maybe. If, if, if anyone can hit six finishes in a match, it's, it's Night Demon. <laughs> But, um, you know, and who knows? Who knows? We've seen Dimmy break up eight pin attempts. So, yeah, I guess six zombies is possible. On the other side, we didn't see a single 619. So, so yeah, it could go one way, could go another. Goliath Games smashing Volk around the devastating steel structure. <laughs> I just throws him into Wanger. <laughs> oh, my word. Imagine getting double teamed by Goliath Games and Table Leg Wanger, Jim. Oh, God. <laughs> This is awful! <laughs> You're never going to be able to unsee that now. Oh, God. Sweet dreams tonight, Jim. <laughs> that is a that it really is a hell in a cell, that isn't it? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Getting double teamed in a cell. <laughs> oh my! Oh, Night Demon absolutely wrecking Johnny B. Go for the finish, but Goliath Games is there. Yep, there's one There's one zombie. <laughs> Gets absolutely pinged to the outside. Hardly any effort needed by Goliath Games there to launch a man through the air. <laughs> oh, oh fucking power bombed off the cage. Brutal. Oh, oh, man. Goliath Games go for the Ooh. win, but Rick saves his championship. But he's paying for it now. <laughs> Look at the power in the slam on Rick, and he has to roll to the outside to survive. Night Demon's in trouble. Ooh. Ooh, blast him with the right hand. And next to feel the power, and no one's there to save him. If Goliath Games goes for the win, this could be over. Oh, it doesn't God. take much from Goliath Games to finish a man. <laughs> no, Wanger's head's in an interesting position there. <laughs> 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 Bob was uh, oddly happily watching uh, Wanger and Johnny be good whatever they were doing and Night Demon's gone for the win Ooh. too early though Goliath Games kicking out calling for the Zombie was he? but uh, gets gets caught by Volk the Vol Vol with some surprising offense before getting devastated by Wanger <laughs> yep had his, uh, had his 15 seconds in the sun <laughs> Now he's getting superplexed, is this? Oh my Ooh, goodness. Wow. Table leg wanger with a top rope elbow earlier and then a top rope Hunnican rider. But Rick with the crucifix powerbomb. Oh my god. Go life, go James, go he gets him up. He gets him up, Jim. What <laughs> strength from Rick Reckless. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Very impressive. Was that a zombie? Yeah, it was a zombie. Rick was alive to it. Instant, instant breakup from Rick. Yeah, he knew not to go for the pin on Goliath Games after the Crucifix Powerbomb because it was after Night Demon had started his pin and that would have cost him his championship. Great ring awareness from Rick there. Fair play. <laughs> wow. 
Wanger just interfering that move from Rick and blasting Night Demon. Night Demon taking a lot of damage here. And Rick onto the top ropes. But Goliath's oh, right there. Goliath oh. Games, Saves Night Demon from devastation. <laughs> oh, God. Goodness me. Superplex on Goliath Games. <laughs> What's with the big man and the top rope maneuvers, Jim? <laughs> Then Plum Pluserweights, eat your heart out. Goliath Games going to be your next champion. <laughs> yeah, I think we've seen more top rope stuff in this match than we did in the Plusers. <laughs> we have. <laughs> Madness. Night Demon again, absolutely <sighs> launched by Goliath Games. Night Demon, one of the bigger competitors in the JFW, put together well. Night Demon making him look like a little child. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Goliath Games making Night Demon look like a little child. Yeah, he did. He just, he just sent him flying, didn't he? Absolutely manhandled him. Oh, and then crashes into the steps, crawling away. Oh, man, I do feel... And now he's the, he's the latest one to be double-teamed by Goliath Games. And like, no, Volk saves him from that fate. <laughs> he, he's been through it himself. He didn't want to see anyone else go through that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's done it again! Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Me. Night Demon must be dead at this point. This is absolutely... Devastation from Goliath Games. He's just toying with him. He's a rag doll. He really is, yeah, just rag dolling. Oh, the good cut! Oh, Johnny B. Good! Both open on the table like Wang up and Rick's there to make the save, but Table Egg, that's gonna uh take put a dent into his hopes of winning this match. He is hurt, Jim. Absolutely, yeah. The good cutter, incredible finishing maneuver. Oh, Rick's going up for something here. Oh, oh but he's missed it, Jim. He's hurt. <laughs> oh no one home. Counters uh, Table Leg Wanger though. He's recovered quickly and though, and then Table Leg Wanger with a counter of his own as Night Demon and Goliath oh! Games. Oh! Oh! Goliath Games, it could be over. Rick's got to be aware of this again. He was last time he's called for his finisher and he does again. Oh. He's really on the ball, isn't he? To he not really lose his championship is. to Night Demon here. Really on the ball, Rick. Incredible ring awareness, but yeah, three zombies from. From Night Demon so far. A call of six zombies from Night Demon. He's halfway there. So far, he's right, but he's going to eat either a Flip Me or a Crucifix Powerbomb. What's it going to It's the... Oh, Flip Me. The, the flip Me. <laughs> that could... Oh, God, I'm going to for the pin. <laughs> <laughs> I love the cheek of it, but he does catch Rick with a massive DDT, and nobody's there to break this up if Goliath Games can get a pin again now. Oh man, that was brilliant. The opportunism from Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if, if only Rick had somehow been distracted, that could have been it. What is going on? <laughs> no, forget, forget the amount of zombies. That is four times Night Demon has been launched to the outside by Goliath Games. <laughs> Deary me. Oh god, what's Rick? Oh, what's... Rick with the cage <laughs> maneuver. And, uh, and caught. He's, <laughs> he's broken his leg, Jim. The oh, champion god. has broken his leg. Oh, he got it caught in the ring ropes when he got thrown into the cage. And he's stuck, and Night Demon's busted open by Goliath Games. We're going to have a new champion, Jim. I don't think Rick could possibly defend from here. Oh god, Rick. Oh God! Oh, that's so, it's horrible to look at. Oh I, honestly, I can't. I can't even look at it, Jim. I'm gonna have to watch the others. Oh my God, that is brutal. Oh, oh God, oh God, he's so hurt. He's so hurt. We've got a new champion and a oh, there's oh, a fifth zombie. Oh, zombie! And Table Leg Wang is distracted. No, he makes the save. Oh, oh, Only two zombies to go to have a new, <laughs> a new EAB champion. Oh, two zombies, Jim. Oh god, oh. The call was in from chat, and we're we're two thirds of the way there. Oh god, Rick is Rick is mercifully not dangling from the ring anymore, but he's looking in horrible shape on the outside. Oh, there's there's no way he can compete now with a broken leg, Jim. Oh, that was oh god, I'm honestly sick to my stomach. That was horrific, wasn't it? That was like the latest UFC uh, pay per view. That was brutal. <laughs> oh oh gosh, yeah. I remember Silva having his leg broken in a, in a match against uh, Weidman, who, who was the one that lately broke his leg. That's a, in a weird yeah. kind of coming round karma event. Yeah. And uh, I remember it happening to Reyes in the football. It's so horrific oh. to see. And the it's fifth zombie, and this could be it. Volk, the weakest He's link. the champion, it's against Volk. Oh, oh Night Demon is the champion. <laughs> it only took five zombies. <laughs> he promised six, it only took five. And so wisely pinning Volk. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Rick's going to be fuming, but I mean, to be fair, he, he was in no condition to defend that pin, was he? So, 
<laughs> no, no, it, it didn't matter. Rick was done. Rick, Rick, uh, Rick uh, is going to be surely out of the JFW for a, a short period of time. I don't know. We'll have to see if he can bounce back from that or not. But uh, yeah, it, there was no way he could defend his title after he broke his leg tonight. <laughs> Devastating structure hell in a cell. We saw it at its worst there. And we said at the start, pick on the weakest man and get the win. You know, and that's exactly <laughs> what Night Demon's done. Very beautifully played from him. Yeah, incredible stuff. Oh boy. Well, there you go. A new, a new era for JFW, maybe. Night Demon taking the Extra Arms Belt Championship from Rick. Rick, maybe, yeah, maybe he's going to be sidelined. Absolutely brutal. But, uh, well, that's, that's all we've got time for. Thank you very much, Rick Schiavone. Oh, my pleasure, Jim. What a show. Thank you for having me on. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. You've been amazing, as always. Absolutely glorious. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.